Yeah. That looks right. Just blend them one. And none up the top. There'll be other bedrolls. And then I'll fix up this area. That's atrocious. We'll also need vents on these rooms. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, we're getting somewhere finally. I'll just deconstruct the walls in between here. I'll have to fix all this up anyway. Um, where all the vents and the extra doors and stuff like that are, but I mean, we'll get to that. I'm reinstall in the corner. I need to make a copy up there. Do I have lights in the top ones? I do. Lights, lights. Alright, now we can look at bringing some of these bedrolls. I keep saying bedrolls, the animal beds. Start bringing some of those back in here. So the cats and the panthers can have somewhere to sleep. I even have some double bed rolls and stuff like that spare, so I'll probably end up selling those. Uh, to be honest, because there's not much reason for me to keep it. I will need doors here. I will need walls. There. Yeah, a whole heap of the animals are going to be starting to miscarry because it is winter. And unless my people get off their ass and come out here and feed them, which I'm not really seeing anybody venturing up here. Um, you know, a lot of them will be very hungry. Apparently the chickens are fine. The big animals that have got problems. Okay. Do I have much hay grass? Looks like 500. I might see this as worth it to bring that uh, the hay grasses up here. Let's see, how far is this? 14, so it'd be by 7. 6 or 6. 6. And how long is this? 16, so it would be 8. Take it to. Well, take it to a 6 and a 6 again. I think that'd be right. Have this big sort of quad sort of center part in here. And what I'm gonna do. Oh, what are my yaks done? And of course, you're gonna take it all the way into the medical wing. Like, I need to fix that somehow. I do not want barn farm outdoor hauling animals in my nice clean hospital. Okay, so zones. I need a little stockpile. At the moment, I need to get in here quickly and just clear everything off it because I know they're gonna bring stuff in. Uh, I need food. Hey, let's bring the hay out and let's just uh, temporarily switch this off from hay so they move it out there. Okay, hopefully we get this done quickly and we end up with uh, plenty of uh, food out here for them, hopefully. I also did find that in my last game when I was trying to evacuate my town and move, um, I didn't actually realize that they could eat like the raw drug plants. I never knew that that was a thing. So, you know, if I ever have visitors that do that, let's see, we've got some red shrew umbos. You guys got some stuff to trade or are you just walking through? Uh, just walking through. That's okay. It's always nice to have some visitors, you know? Uh, wildlife is still going well. I would like to have Megasloth wool. I do not want the risk of them getting maimed like last time. I could just see that being infuriating. Because uh, last time I had Isabella, the, you know, one and only Megasloth, and my god, was she a nightmare. Because it's not like you could ride it, not like she could carry anything hauling. It was great for attacking, but that was kind of it. And she had a name. And I didn't really want to make a sloth to begin with. I'm getting a lot of yaks, but I'm guessing a lot of these must be females. Uh, okay, so we must have just used up all of the hay. Yeah. That's okay. I have a lot of rice. 
So, not that I want it to be this way, but uh, we're going to accept a little bit of rice out here for them. And that's only going to be a temporary deal. I'm going to let it fill up twice over, and then that's it. After that, that's it. Let's just make sure that this has feedback again. Rice. Okay. Go for it, people. Go, little cats. Let's watch them get fed. They're pretty hungry, and I know that. I want this to fill up with rice, and my animals to rush in and eat anything that's available. And then fill up one more time again until hopefully all the spots are full. And then that's it. They, they can wait a few more days before I think about doing this again. It should be enough to get them through winter. I have got a lot of rice. I've got like 36,000 rice, so we've got room. It's for once. Wait for them to eat it down. It is coming into night time, so a lot of them will sleep. I don't mind if they just end up stocking it up as much as physically possible. I seem to be going, doing a good job at this. We've only eaten about a thousand rice by the look of it. They're all coming into bed. I'll let them eat it in the morning and then I'll disable it. Uh, I'll, I'll re-enable it from my main area. But I will allow this space to forever be able to store hay and rice. I know it's an indoor space. It's not refrigerated. But... I could see it as being, you know, a viable option for them to at least get access to food uh, when next harvest happens. And that may allow their area to grow up a little bit more and more animals to be able to be secured in this pen. The main thing is that uh, I know that thrombos have access to all the storage, except for like the cold storage of food. And what I've got a problem with that is when they get in and snack on my survival meals and oh my god when you see a freaking kitten snacking on a survival meal and then somebody comes over and slaughters it the next second and you're like I just lost an entire package survival meal and the cat that was eating it like could you not waste so much stuff game uh, thrombos are rolling in okay it's gonna be fun gotta wait till morning I don't want to move from here till then. I just want to make sure everybody's getting a chance to eat in the morning. I want to see them all race in. They should be hungry. It's interesting that they're getting up during the night and eating. I kind of wasn't expecting that. There we go. Here's Dawn coming. They all go. Give them some food. Everybody's waking up. Luca's bringing in more rice. Alright. So I think their cutoff for this food should be hour nine. I think would be a fair call. They've got one more. Getting some good food. There we go. Okay. That's it for them. They all got a chance to have a full belly. Most of them have eaten. Alright. Now this area is back to being normal storage. Where are these thrombos? Right there. Is that it? It's just one? There's two. They're both males. Okay. Let's pause. Let's... Let's kill these bastards. So, I'm going to take my chances with these because they are thrombos. They will kick our ass. So everybody and your animals. Uh, no free shooting. I don't think that should be a good idea. Let's see what's up here. 
I don't know where the other one is, but I can see the scars right here. I was going to say, I'm like, why are you in the house? I'm like, oh, they're just running to where the other people are. That's okay. That's acceptable. Alright. Guys, I'm going to need a little bit of splitting up. Only a little bit. Only one here, and we've got a lot of animals. Yeah, there's four, three, three, and three. Alright. And it's moving downwards. Let's wait till it moves back up a little bit. Of course it's moving down. God, I hate these things. They're like, oh, you're surrounding me. Yeah, no. Okay, so everybody move. We'll be right near it again. Close enough. Everybody, get in there. Alright, you guys move back. Move back. Let the animals go. Because we got hurt. Jesus, Tofu. No, no, no. I don't need you to be shooting like that. I need you to get into medical wing right now. Did, yeah, the other one got in there, didn't it? Okay. Everybody? I... Yeah, no, there's the other one. Yeah, I don't care if it's alive or dead or whatever. Everybody else go over here. Tofu, you stay in there for a minute. In the bed. No, you don't have that long. We should be able to do this. Everybody go for it. Alright, now get out of there. This is why I have a lot of animals. The damage that particularly my thrombos can inflict should be quite lethal. Oh my cat snacking on that thrombo. Okay. Successful situation. Uh, now let's make sure everybody's healing okay. Right? Right. What's this planted situation? It's okay. Some of these look like they're hot. Yeah, 15 hours, 16, 20. I don't think any of my thrombos are sore, but... Maybe chimpanzee. No, Wiggs is on it. Getting in here. Healing, and the other panthers should be on their way in. Weeks looks like she's running off to do stuff. Lincoln, mate, you reckon you can tend to Carol? 15, 19, 15, and yeah. You'll be alright. His hope is no longer gonna die, so it's great. And got one more. Yeah, Nissan's on it. There we go. Okay. Everything's okay. Everybody's alright. Quickly save that. And they're having a party. Again. Because of Costa's runs party. Where are you throwing it? Are you throwing it in the rec area or the dining hall? Yeah. Guys, there's a wall. You should be watching the TV, not the wall. I mean, whatever works. If that's interesting to you. They just seem like they're staring at the wall to me. I know they're probably all just chatting and stuff. I'm gonna look at Weeks at the moment. How's her food? Yeah, she's pretty happy. Overall, got recreation uh, satisfied. Very impressive dining room. It's cleanish for once. Uh, she's a master or something. She should be eating fine meal. Indoors? Yeah, stuff's going well at this point. Very good. Tofu's even up out of bed. Alright. Let's figure out the rest of this area. We need floors. For sure. And I think all of these beds can lift. All of them. I realise it didn't select that one for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that should be enough beds. I hope. We'll find out. Uh, Those ones are in the right spot. We need another one. Another cat bed brought over. And that's all we're getting for that. 
now we need to lighten these rooms. There we go. Lighten the corner. And how's that looking down here? Probably one in front of the door for those as well. It is kind of dark and I don't want it to be too dark. I know it's a bedroom but I don't know why they need to have lights on all the time. Um, it's not like they have any issues with that. I don't know if there's any that do have like, you know, afraid of the dark or something like that. It would be interesting if they do. Okay, so we've got some lights. So what do you think of that now? Because you're no longer sleeping in the dark. Uh, Shizuka is though. She doesn't complain about it, she's asleep. As soon as they wake up though, they've got problems. Many called barracks. Well, yeah, she's kind of like, you know, just in with the wolves right there. We'll get it sorted out. Your bedroll will go bye bye, and this area will open up really nicely. And then we'll get this underway. We should be able to. Not yet. Okay, so we can make a proper prisoner beds. Build a couple copies. There and there. There and there. And uh, then we'll make a couple more tables and stuff. I know I don't think we need this many. I don't think it hurts to have that many either. I, I could just sort of see having like an additional bed in these rooms. Non-medical that might be able to suffice holding quite a few prisoners. I'm looking at the long game here realistically. I'm thinking about if I go out to a quest and... I happen to get really lucky in the future and take home, say, eight prisoners. How am I going to house that issue before we come home if I've had to send everybody? I want there to be enough beds for that. So at the moment, there would be, we're coming up to going to be four. And that'll be fine. Perfectly fine. Four beds overall means I can have four prisoners. Maybe more if they're in medical beds as well. But we'll see. Okay, so these are getting all made. That's getting cleaned up. Uh, very nice. I'm going to make some more batteries. Uh, I'm going to fill up this room as much as I can for all the rooms. See how that ends up looking. Oh, jeez. Highlight. There we go. I don't think I need that many batteries yet, but it can't hurt. I don't see it being able to hurt. These things can blow up. I still haven't figured out why they blow up. Like, is there too much power going to them? Is there too much drain on them? Is it just that one decides to just go, you know, kaput? Who knows? I don't. That's for certain. Uh, yeah, so let's fill this out. Anywhere that doesn't have a battery, I might just sneak in a little light or something. Just because these rooms are very dark. This is also going to use a lot of steel and a lot of those components that I've been buying. But I want that to happen because as soon as they get off their butt and do some research and we end up with some solar power, I'm going to need the storage. And by then I should have enough new components anyway that it shouldn't really be a problem. Let's get all these done. We're nearly there. This will take a while to build it anyway. I'm considering whether or not to just remove panther access from this. Maybe even just cat access. Do I already have that? So. Yeah, no, I think I'm going to revoke cat access from these battery rooms. There's no real reason for them to be going in there. Uh realistically I think I've got them banned from the hospital anyway but they're not making a mess in there yeah actually I should just be able to do this eh? yeah sweet here I was trying to be careful and I'm like oh I've already got it mostly mapped out all right so no more cats in this central area I do not understand how they're going to move around. I guess they've got to come in and out of rooms more so than just actually like just meandering through stuff. I think that's mostly okay. Make sure it's all saved. Alright. What is this neurotrainer? 
medic. I don't want to use it twice on Nitro, I don't think. He's already a 15. Do I have anybody else that could really benefit from that? I know everybody started high, but if anybody's particularly like... Kofi's kind of passionate, but he's also a 15. Uh, I'll have to keep it at the moment. Everybody's kind of around that 15 mark be it that they started higher and then came down to it, or that they're, you know, gotten up to it already. This is going pretty good. We've got our research benches, we've got stone cutting, we've got some, you know, warm clothes and stuff, which by the way, we're already into winter, so we should probably be looking at making some warm stuff for summer. I will keep these kind of like open for a while. Since we have such a big storage, I'm not too concerned about having them make too much stuff. Where did I uninstall that from? Ah, right there. Oh yeah, I should have some thrombo fur soon from these two. That'd be really good. How are these animals going? Are they okay? Yeah, they've still got some rice. Uh, yeah. yeah. They're still doing alright. We've still got a thousand seven hundred rice out here. Pretty good. What's our wildlife doing? We've got a lot of wild boars. So let's hunt those, get them healed. Alright. So it's probably about middle December -y now. And what I would like to do is I'd like to go and visit our nearby friend. Um, everything seems to be going quite good here. Um, yeah, everybody's allowed to eat whatever. Nobody's allowed drugs at all. Everybody's got whatever clothing they choose. Uh, schedule's looking pretty good. Yeah, I'd say... I'd say, for the most part, all of the objectives that I was hoping to do today have been done. I mean, it's wishy-washy, sometimes clean, sometimes not, and honestly, this area over here is just a disaster. But they'll get there. What I want to do is I'm going to send a caravan over to Yellow. can't remember the name. I'm going to send, send a seahorse. I'm pretty sure she's a good negotiator. I'm going to send my night crew out in Lincoln, Silverware and Seahorse and let's send let's send all the pack animals for this I only want to send out one caravan at a time at the moment not much point separating it into a couple of caravans there are a lot of animals so maybe I just don't take any calves I think those are all calves from there on Okay, so that's about 2,000 is the weight limit there. Let's see what kind of food that tree picked up. Yeah, see, three days food is just not going to be enough. We're trying to talk about a round trip in winter. So I'm thinking maybe 500 pemmican since we got it. Uh, simple food, I'm only taking three people, so 30 simple meals total. Uh, 10 each. Uh, package survival meals, just take three. Just in case, can't hurt. And rice, if you're gonna take 600, just take a thousand. I can always sell rice to a primitive uh, faction. Uh, let's see, I only need three medical. I'm not gonna take bedrolls for this one. Let's be honest, my people are night owls and they should be fine to just sleep on the ground for a little while. What I do wanna do is I need to take some of these leathers and sell them. So get rid of all those. Do the camel hide, not the blue fur, I have plans for that. Panther fur I need, fox fur can go, rhinoceros leather, pretty big stuff. The wolves can stay. Let's see what else I've got. Now I have these, which I'd rather sell in person at my base, uh, just for the weight of it. It's stupid. One of these uh, equas, 
Iclas, Urcas, whatever. Plus still Gladius is probably somebody's. And the quality of the clothing. Um, we'll keep that there. And you guys can take, just take all the money and go for your expedition. I'm not sure what they're complaining about with the food. Uh, I think it's related to people, but like, as far as I know, they don't have any specific taste. And my only thought is, because they're all set to lavish, perhaps they'll have problems with like rice or something. Um, but I haven't really worked it out yet. So we'll just save the caravan. Hoping. Because it is a bit of, it's a fair bit of stuff. It's a lot of the um, leathers and, you know, stuff like that to go out. I'm hoping they'll collect it all and maybe go out. It's 11th. So maybe by the 13th, maybe they'll leave. That's kind of my hope. Um, I would like them to be out and back more like the 13th, but that's that's wishful thinking. Oh, we got a wanderer join. McLean uh, has arrived and wants to join your colony. He's willing to contri uh, contribute, but will not be will not leave voluntarily me to have nowhere else to go you can choose to turn him down send him away however your colonists will be disturbed sending someone away in need well yeah we're gonna take him but like what's his stats and stuff oh we got a quest too that could be good timing okay so he's a servant okay let's have a look at you let's just pause and have a quick look at you make sure you can heal yourself mostly in okay condition 31 years old. Uh, you're in a bit of pain. You can do cooking and medical. And you're okay with being body modded. Slothful. What's slothful do? The work speed's a little bit slow. Well, mate, you're going to be a cook. That's okay. And you can't be violent. Oh, we have a pacifist. Oh, that's awesome. I wanted to bring in Franklin last time. And the only thing that stopped me was that he was a pacifist and I didn't want to start the game with one. But I did want one eventually and I did want one that could do medical. I am going to bump your medical skills up so hard, mate. Uh, let's see, your social, friends of everybody, always great. And you're trying to sort out your clothes. Okay, alright, I'm going to let you just put your stuff down and get some warmer, nicer clothing. And then I'm going to just bump up your medical and then work on... Uh, organizing what you're doing and then we're gonna have a look at that quest so let's see you, you're gonna start making pemmican straight away mate let's get you a, a medical and you're on seven let's see where this goes I'd like to see maybe a 12 but then again you're a 13 oh my god this is just getting so good all right so are you a daytime person yeah, you are. Alright, so where are you? You can only flee. That's okay. I'm just always going to click on that. That's going to bother me. Uh, no drugs. Um, schedule. Standard recreation and work zones as per usual. Your work. So obviously this sort of basic stuff up the front is always the same. Uh... Since you don't have a lot of things to do, I'm going to make that a second priority. Let's get rid of wardening. Now you can cook, so that's what you're going to do. And we're just going to take down these ones that do not really do that. Let's do two, and let's make cleaning one. We've got medical, cooking. If you can't do medical and you can't do cooking, you will do cleaning, and then you will do probably basic and hauling. That'll be fine. I think most people are set to like only being a two on this i mean a three i actually think that should be higher like yeah that should be higher for everybody i think i left it lower before just so people would go further along here first but i mean for the most part we rarely ever have basic tasks okay so that's set up you've got your sleeping let's have a quick look at this caravan the nearby settlement, Medino on the Plain, has a special trade request. They would like to purchase 20 dusters, normal quality, 
uh, worth nearly four grand. Uh, if you'd like to make trade, uh, you need to get there within 